Uh, representing a scientific committee, I would like to start with the importance of science and technology to establish and operate a system like the CDPDO system, both the IMS and the IBC. I think, and I said that before the events in March last year, that you are on a good way. Between March and May, the, the whole system and the personnel operating the whole system uh, had to pass a very severe stress test. And it, at the end of the day, and with one year distance, I can say congratulations. You are on the right way, but don't relax. If you relax, you will lose your standard, and this is a unique standard in the world. What we want to see in situation, environmental situations of this kind is timely and precise information, because the world's population wants to know what's going on, are we in danger, are we at risk? And this is exactly what you provided. And as a representative, not of UNSCARE, but of uh, a radiation protection organization, I can only say this was invaluable information for the first two, three weeks. We relied very much on, on, on you, and people believed us, because we said this is what's going to happen, and then we measured things, and they proved it happened. So this was a very good thing. Uh, the experience of these first three months, seen from one year distance, as far as all these international organizations are concerned, have to be followed up in a, in a, in a similar fashion. Everyone did the best he, the organization could, but I think there is room for improvement, and we heard some, some things from IEE already, so the, all the organizations the, in the UN family should relax, sit, sit back and think about improving the interaction, sharing the information in real time, and putting arrangement in place that this will happen if something happens again like this. Nobody wants to happen this again, but uh, if it may happen, it's, I think it's not only our moral obligation, it's our professional obligation to respond provide information and protect people the best possible way we can. So this is another type of thing CTP you cannot do alone, but the UN family organization, they can uh, uh, attach that. Now, coming back to UNSCARE, you have heard that UNSCARE is uh, starting to work on an in-depth assessment of the situation, and all organizations of the UN family are contributing to that. And I think this is a good example how, how this interaction can work in peacetime, but it has also to work in, in times where we have to respond from one hour to another. Uh, we also want to use this data in the longer term, not only for, Fukushima, for the Fukushima data set. Uh, the radionuclide network provides a unique set of data which characterizes the radioactivity situation in the atmosphere. And there are natural components which are important for science. There are other sources, like the medical production for diagnosis and therapy, which produce noise. And the mandate of UNSCA is to follow trends in these things. And it's in your interest of the CDPDO to understand what's going on, because this noise will limit your ability to detect and identify clandestine tests. So it's in the interest of science and of this organization to work together to understand what's going on in terms of trends in atmospheric concentrations. Beyond that, the data set between March and May produced by your organization is highly important for science to better understand the transport and mixing of the atmosphere. I mean, this is something within your profession of the WMO. But if we understand the atmosphere better, we can 
give better answers to the question of climate change and we can give better answers to the question of locating a clandestine test. So again, this is a win-win situation. Science can profit from your data and you can profit from the results of science. Uh, so this is, at the end of the day, my message. Thank you very much. You did a lot of effort, not only in technical terms, but also as an organization. And this includes all the station operator and your personnel here uh, in the organization. And keep going. Don't relax. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Wolfgang.